just like any. Or if I can sleep in a nice apartment, oh, I am very happy. Or if I can meet with a beautiful opposite sex, oh, I am happy. These are animal happiness. Actual human happiness is not simply to meet the bodily demands. That is called brahma jiggāsa, athāta brahma jiggāsa. Now, where to inquire about this brahma, about oneself? That is the next question. Just like if you want to learn something about medical science, you have to approach some medical man or you have to take admission in some medical school or college. Or if you want to learn about engineering, you have to seek after somebody who knows engineering or technology. That is the way of education. So many universities and department of knowledge teaching, different department of knowledge. Similarly, if you want to learn about yourself, Brahma, then you have to seek after some teacher who can teach you about yourself. This is common knowledge. This is common knowledge. So all the Vedic literature says that in order to learn that transcendental science about yourself or about God, then tad vijñānātham sa guru-meva avigacet in order to learn that science, don't manufacture, but scientific way, if you want to learn, tad vijñānātham sa guru meva, guru eva avigacet. Guru means spiritual master. Eva, eva means certain. Uh, not that if somebody thinks, oh, I can learn about myself without approaching any spiritual master. That is wrong. Actually, eva, eva means certain, one must. And this verb, gacchet, is used where this sense is used, must, gacchet, must go, must approach. That is the injunction of the Vedas. Similarly, the injunction of Simadu Bhagavatam is also tasmat guruṁ prapadyeta jīgyāsu sreya uttamam. Now, in order to approach a bona fide spiritual master, one must be very much disgusted with this material way of life. That is very nice qualification. Unless one is disgusted, with this materialistic way of life, that actually in this materialistic way of life there is no happiness. This proposition must be convinced by one that he should know certainly that in the material way of life I cannot become happy. This is the first condition. Tasmat. Tasmat means therefore. Similarly, in Vedanta Sutra also, atha brahma jiggasa. When we become fed up, disgusted with the materialistic way of life, natural inquiry is, then what is next? That next, in order to understand that next, the Vedanta Sutra says, the Vedic knowledge says, tasmat guru meva vigacet, tasmat guru prapadyeta, Therefore, one should seek after a bona fide spiritual master and learn there. That is the Vedic India. So, one who is actually convinced that the materialistic way of life cannot make me happy, his duty is to seek after a bona fide spiritual master to be enlightened in the transcendental science of understanding oneself and what is God. There are 
five elementary truths. The living entity, we are all living entities, cats and dogs and animals. There are eight million four hundred, four hundred thousands of different kinds of, according to different kinds of body. The living entity is one, spirit soul. But according to his body, he is claiming, just like you have got American body, you are claiming that I am American. I have got Indian body, I am claiming I am Indian. This is my bodily designation. Similarly, a cat has got a body of cat, he is thinking I am cat. A dog has got a dog's body, he is thinking of that I am dog. So there are eight million four hundred thousand species of life they are claiming I am this and that. Actually, he is spirit soul. He is spirit soul and eternal servant of the Supreme Law. That is his constitutional position. But he has forgotten. Somewhere or other he does not know. And in order to invoke that original knowledge, which is called Krishna consciousness, one should approach a bona fide spiritual master. That is the way. Tasmad Gurum Prabhadeta Jigyasu Sreyottam. Why one should approach a spiritual master unless one is inquisitive to understand? if there is anything beyond this material world. Otherwise there is no need of seeking a spiritual master. A spiritual master should not be sought after to fulfill one's sense gratification. No. One should be very much eager to understand, to know the science of Brahma which is beyond this material existence, and then he should very seriously seek after a spiritual master. Tasmat Gurum Prabhadeta Jigyasu. Jigyasu means inquisitive. What kind of inquisitiveness? Uh, not that we are inquisitive about politics or economics or some football result or some. So many things we have got. And in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that there are many questions. By the condition soul, there are many questions by the condition soul living within this material existence without any knowledge of the self realization. There are many questions. So, that sort of question is not required to be solved by the spiritual master. The spiritual master should be approached by a person who is inquisitive to understand Sriya Uttama, what is the highest benefit, spiritual benefit or beyond this material existence. For that purpose, Sriya, Sriya means the benefit, highest benefit. Priya and Sriya. Priya means immediately I want some benefit. And Sriya means the ultimate benefit. One who is inquisitive or the ultimate benefit, he should be inquisitive and inquired from a bona fide spiritual mouth.